Hi Virgo, this is Eileen with your August 2020 Psychic Tarot Card Reading. And happy birthday Virgos! I believe Virgo's birthday is what, um, August 23rd to September 22nd, something like that. But happy birthday regardless of whether your birthday falls in August or September. I hope you have a great year ahead. Let's see, and you're starting out, look, with the Sun card. Now, this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you, while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And the Sun, this is a very good omen to start your month with. The Sun will be shining its bright light upon you and all of your endeavors, your projects, uh, to provide prosperity and healing and success and good positive forward movement for you going through the year. And the sun's energy will carry you more than just the month of August. This will carry you and help propel you forward as the months are going by. So don't let this wonderful sun energy pass you by. Use it to your best advantage. Get a new outlook. Make a new plan if you've had difficulties. Because, um, you know, a lot of people have had difficulties in the climate, current climate and with everything. But, I mean, make a new plan. If you've had setbacks, had disappointments, challenges, make a new plan. Revise your plan. Just get it moving forward because this sun energy is just going to be a wonderful help to uh, guide you, to help with healing, to help with your success, your prosperity, to help you to achieve your dreams so you can make your dreams for your life come true. And look what you have alongside. Really, you got three good cards. The sun, ace of pentacles, and one of my favorite cards, that nine of pentacles. So three really good cards in a row, ace of pentacles. And um, now the pentacles do relate to the earth signs of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So these are your cards here, these pentacle cards. Ace of pentacles is talking about a new um, financial beginning for you, something new that you're starting, or maybe something that you had been had already started, but it was kind of lagging a little bit, and you can get some new in energy infused into this project. It might be a business. It might even be a new job for you. This is a very good indicator of prosperity and success for money coming your way for things to get rolling. I'm getting really good energy about businesses. So anyone who's got a business or if you want to start one or you're just at the beginning stages of laying out a plan for yourself. And this is good if you work for a company also. This is really great energy all the way around. But I am getting business um, energy here for a number of you, especially I don't know, this card combination is just, it's really a great combination of cards. So yeah, so make your plans. And I always advise everybody, learn about the law of attraction because you may not be feeling all that prosperous right now. You've got wonderful cards here though. Um, but the more you put out that kind of energy of success and prosperity, having all you want in your cup runneth over, the more you put out that kind of energy and an attitude of gratitude, the more the universe will match those conditions for you. Because you, you attract what you're putting out there energetically. So even if you're saying positive things, but if you're feeling fearful or insecure or aggravated, then you're going to attract negative things. You got to you got to put out that real positive energy of confidence, um, uh, ambition, forward movement. Like you're moving ahead on your plans to get your life the way you want it. Nine of Pentacles is a wonderful card of abundance and prosperity enjoying all the good that you have, feeling grateful for all the abundance in your life. You might even be enjoying the outdoors. It's like she's out in a garden here with nature, and you've got all those beautiful little pentacle coins all over the place too, so there's a lot of prosperity and abundance. This is what the universe wants for you. So if you don't have this in your life right now, you need to start aligning yourself with this kind of prosperous, successful energy, okay? Because you need to radiate that from your being throughout your day into the night 
And whenever you get thrown off track, you got to get back on track and radiate that kind of energy. Because this is what you're supposed to be having in your life. The prosperity, uh, a happy home where you're feeling grateful for all the good that you have. And, and for all of your needs to be met and to be enjoying your life. Next card you have is the lover's card. This, you've got, yeah, another, um, this is a major arcana. You've got the sun, you've got this one. Oh, it's just these two major arcanas. Okay, the lover's card is about making a decision about staying in a relationship or possibly entering a new relationship. Now, this is about someone or something that you're passionate about. This might be about a business or a creative endeavor of some sort, uh, some creative project or um, a job, a business, whatever. But it could also relate to a relationship. It's about passion. So what making the choices about something or someone that you have a passion for, or maybe you don't any longer have a passion for that. Um, but the lovers, now you might be in a relationship with someone right now that um, you're enjoying yourself, but you're wondering and feeling like this person may not be your best, your ideal mate long term. Although this person might be pursuing you more than you're pursuing them. They might be just acting like they're really much more interested in you. And you you feel like, okay, you know, you're enjoying yourself, but at the same time, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's someone else out there for me that's a better match. And I agree with you. I do feel like if this is you, that you're wondering and you keep having this little suspicion there's a better match for you out there, I agree. So you should hold off on making any kind of big commitments to someone that you, your heart's not totally into it because there is someone else that's from a previous lifetime that you were with that you're supposed to be with. And that person is on the way to find you. That's what I'm feeling like. They're on their way to you. They're just not there yet. And so that might be specific to just a couple of people that I'm talking to here. But I am getting that kind of energy. Always follow your inner guidance, what's in your heart. Don't let someone do a sales job on you. Or don't do a sales job on yourself. Because a lot of times you might rationalize that someone's the right person for you. Just because logically... It works, you know, maybe you have a lot in common in one thing or another, but you don't really feel that kind of feeling in your heart or that passion that you want to feel. So listen to your feelings and don't, don't, you know, overcommit yourself. Enjoy yourself for the time being, but be ready to kind of move on if you start feeling like, okay, I need to move on because I want to be with the right person for me. Next card you have is Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, um, in this card, the person's being kind of maybe almost taking a nap, maybe le leaning against a tree there. And there's this hand coming out of the sky with a big goblet and uh, making an offer to the person. The person, this could, and now the Cups do relate to the water signs of Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. They relate to feelings, emotions, love. So it could be that for some Virgos, maybe you're discouraged because you've been looking around and you'd like to meet the right person and that person hasn't come along and you kind of feel like, ah, oh, there's nobody out there. Now, this could also relate to a job situation, something in business. Maybe you've been um, chipping away and working at something, maybe trying to get a new job or, or trying to get a business off the ground or whatever it is, and you start feeling discouraged like, oh, this is just not coming together. And so you're kind of maybe just taking a break and resting and not paying attention. But the advice of this card is don't do that. Don't get complacent, whether it's about relationships or business, because you might miss a wonderful opportunity. The big hand coming out of the sky with the big goblet being offered to you. Someone could be making a valuable offer to you of love or something in business. And right under the sun card there, you've got all that sun energy so uh, pay attention, stay alert, don't get discouraged. That might just, when you think nothing's there, all of a sudden something might be wanting to come your way. Next card you have is Queen of Swords. The swords do relate to the air signs of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This could, now the Queen of Swords is someone who could be in a, um, a position of authority, maybe a manager or an owner at a place where you work or maybe someone you're applying to for a, a mortgage or a car loan or whatever. 
The Queen of Swords has worked hard for everything she has. She's done well for herself, but she holds the bar very high for herself. She can be a perfectionist and she um, uh, she can be very, very uh, critical of others. She sizes things up, sizes people up, and she can be uh, very sharp-tongued. So um, if this is someone you're dealing with, whether it's at work or in some business transaction, this person is very difficult to please. I don't feel like she's after you in some bad way. I just feel like she's difficult. It's almost like, okay, show me what you got. You know, she wants to see uh, before she um, will either do business with you or offer you that job or give you that promotion or transfer, whatever it is. She holds the bar high for herself, so therefore she holds the bar high for others as well. And uh, now this could be you also in the month of August. Maybe you've been working hard and doing a really good job and you're feeling um, a little critical of other people who are taking shortcuts and that sort of thing. But I don't, I don't feel like if this is someone around you, I don't feel like she's out to get you. I don't get that. I just feel like she's difficult to please. It's kind of like you got to go above and beyond the call of duty in order to get something approved by her. Okay, whatever it is. Next card you have is Four of Wands. And um, now Four of Wands is talking about a happy celebration with loved ones. This could be a romantic celebration. Maybe you're having, um, it could even be a wedding. Some people might be getting married in August. Or you might be getting engaged or having um, a happy little anniversary of some sort with a um, romantic partner. This could also be family get-togethers or uh, family and friends or some other some kind of celebration and now what I do get here for some Virgos this card I'm getting true love here I feel like for some of you there may be someone that you've been seeing recently or that you might meet in the month of August and this person will really they're going to know you're the one they want they're going to know that they don't need to look any further their home with you and so there might be someone you've been involved with, whether it's for a few months or a year, or maybe you're just meeting them. But this person's going to be letting you know in one way or another that uh, they found what they want. They don't need to go any further. So, um, and you're going to feel good. You're going to feel secure with this person. They're going to want to make you feel secure. And it's going to be comforting to you. But at the same time, you might be a little cautious. And so, um, but I am feeling true love for some of you Virgos. So um, just be open, be receptive. But I do feel like it could be, you might already be seeing this person. And they're not the type to talk a good talk. You know, they're just very real, down to earth. If anything, they may not talk all that much. They might just, you know, talk when they need to. But they show their feelings. They're there for you. They don't have to, uh, you know, if they say, I'll call you this evening or I'll be back this evening, then they're there or they call. They follow through. Uh, very steady. They don't want to be anywhere else. They're happy with you. They're at home with you. <laughs> so <laughs> next last uh, card you have is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is about being a little too dreamy and not really looking at things realistically. So, um, and the cups, again, they do relate to the water signs and they relate to emotions and feelings and love and that sort of thing. So with the, the advice of the seven of cups is be as realistic as possible because some Virgos, maybe you're looking at different people wondering, oh, I wonder if that person's the right one for me, or maybe that one's the right one for me. And sometimes you, if you get into kind of a dreamy frame of mind, let's say somebody's really good looking, you really want that person to be the right one. You might... Um, attribute better traits to them than what they actually possess. So you need to be careful to take your time and get to know people and be as objective as you can if you're dating or meeting new people or that sort of thing. Now, I do feel, again, I'm getting love. Some of you really are going to get true expressions of love from someone. Um, and then others of you, I feel like you're going to just be having some nice times and get-togethers. I feel like someone's going to be going out with someone that's uh, got money to spend, you know. <laughs> 
so uh, they can show you a good time when they take you out and not worry about the budget being real tight or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, but it's just the advice is try to be as realistic as you can. But overall, you've got wonderful cards here, and um, it's a good start to your year since this is your birthday time for your year ahead for your birthday. It's like you're off to a good start here. Now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. And what I want to do now is pick one card from Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. And if you like my readings, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also be sure and check your Rising Moon Sign videos. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Virgo for August? What's your message for Virgo? Okay, this one says helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. Okay, I like that. All right, next, I want you to think of a question or a situation you're dealing with that you would like some insight into or maybe an answer on. I've got the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Radley Valentine. I'm shuffling these now. Uh, Angels, what is your message for Virgo for the month of August? What is your message for Virgo? So be thinking about a question that you would like an answer to or that you would like some insight on, or, you know, and, and sometimes there's just something lingering that you've been dealing with, and you'd like some insight into it, and, you know, have that as your question that you would like guidance or insight on. Okay, and we'll see what the angels have to say. Okay, I'm shuffling with them, I'm fan these out. So, angels, what is your message for Virgo for the month of August. Okay, this says within the next few months. Okay, I hope that gives you some kind of um, insight, guidance. Now it is a general reading, so like I said, some parts might resonate while others do not, but um, that one says within the next few months. Last but not least, I'll pick one from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So Angels, what is your message for Virgo for the month of August. What's your message for Virgo? Let me give it another shuffle and I'll fan these out. What is your message for Virgo? Let me give it one more shuffle. Okay, and I'll fan these out and we'll see. Okay, angels, what is your message for Virgo? Okay. Okay, this is Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. I love that. That's a wonderful message to end on. Okay, Virgo. Well, you've got some uh, good messages here. I hope you're happy with your reading. Be sure and check your Rising Moon Sign videos in case something resonates with those. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Happy birthday. I wish you all the best. I hope you have a wonderful year ahead with lots of prosperity and lots of happiness and love. And uh, we'll talk again soon, Virgo.